All right, this lecture is going to be on biochemistry, specifically on lipids. Now, everybody, I truly believe that if you watch this video to the very end, that you'll be able to answer most any question on lipids. So let's get right into it. Okay, so a couple char general characteristics of lipids. They are hydrophobic. They don't like water. They do not dissolve in water. And there's many different types. And there are some important essential fatty acids, which are similar to essential amino acids. Okay, so these are a couple of the different types of li lipids. And you'll see questions come from these first five mostly. So that's mostly what I'm going to focus on in this lecture. So we got the fatty acids, the tags. So the, the full word is triacylglycerol. You may also see it as triglyceride phospholipids, lipoproteins, and sphingolipids. So let's get right into it. These are the structures of some of these molecules. So I'll uh, focus on each one of these and devote a couple points to each one. So the fatty acid is a carboxylic acid with a long hydrocarbon chain. The triglyceride is basically three fatty acids connected to a glycerol backbone. And you see here, I have this arrow going over here showing that if you take a tag and attack it with a lipase, it'll turn back into a fatty acid. The lipase basically cuts the fatty acid chains off. A phospholipid is a phosphate head group with two fatty acid chains coming off of it. And then there's a lipoprotein, and the name here tells you what's in it. So it's a lipid, fat, plus a protein. And they form these balls. And uh, so I've got a bunch of these phospholipids, and then these are the proteins. And then we'll get into something called a sphingolipid. A sphingolipid is kind of like a triglyceride. The main difference is that the backbone here is glycerol, and the backbone for a sphingolipid is called sphingosine. So let's get into fatty acids. Okay, so the fatty acid is a carboxylic acid plus a hydrocarbon chain. Sometimes you might see the word aliphatic chain, and that's just another word for hydrocarbon chain. So I've got the, the carboxylic acid and then the hydrocarbon chain. So these are all carbons and then there's little hydrogens coming off of each of these carbons. So if you take a tag, a triacylglycerol, and you take a, a lipase, then it becomes a fatty acid. So two essential fatty acids. So this is a big, big point that you guys have to know. So the two essential fatty acids are linoleic acid and alpha linoleic acid. So an essential fatty acid is something that the body can't make, and so you have to eat it to get it. Your body can't synthesize these by itself. So the two big ones are linoleic acid and alpha linoleic acid. And here I put 18 semicolon 2 C, and that means 18 carbons with two double bonds. And this means 18 carbons with three double bonds. And these fatty acids are very, very important because they make another fatty acid, which is called arachidonic acid. This is another big hitter, comes up a lot on the tests. Gotta know arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is important because it's used to make things, certain hormones like prostaglandins and eicosanoids. So the, all these fatty acids are going to end in IC. So you see here linoleic acid, um, arachidonic acid. Okay, and then fatty acids can be categorized as saturated, unsaturated. And then within unsaturated, they can be monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. So saturated with what? Saturated with hydrogens. Okay, so saturated fatty acids basically means there's no double bonds between the carbons. So each carbon has a full capacity of hydrogens coming off of it. Unsaturated fatty acids, two types, monounsaturated and poly. With monounsaturated, there's just one double bond. And then with poly, there's more than one double bond. And then the two main ones here that we're going to focus on are linoleic acid 
and arachidonic acid. I put the question mark in here because we just went over how many carbons were in it. So it, pause it, think through it. If you can't remember, go back to the previous slide or stay tuned because I think the next one of the next slides has it. And then uh, poly or prostaglandins are made from polyunsaturated fats, specifically arachidonic acid is a precursor. Okay, here we go. Fatty acid names. So the fatty acids are categorized by the number of carbons that they have, and each carbon you add, you get a new name for the fatty acid. So there's, starting at the 12 carbon is lauric acid. Now, guys, I don't want you to like stress out about memorizing all of this. I bolded what's most important here. And then I also have a little mnemonic here just to help if you do want to, if you got like some extra space, some extra memory in the, up there and you can cram this in there, then, you know, use this little mnemonic. But 